Hey guys, good morning. I got another one for you this morning. Um, it's a cold one today. I used my breath. Um, anyhow, so I've been thinking a lot about the monetary system and how how is Bitcoin kind of kind of change it. And so if honestly, if they keep printing money to infinity, our our value of the US dollar is just going to be debased, meaning it's not going to have value. Like we've seen what happens in other countries when we do this. And so it's kind of this experiment. I know, yes, the United States or the US dollar is the world reserve currency um, for everything, right? And so when countries exchange back and forth, like it's typically done in US dollars. And so I know that it, this may take quite a while, but I mean, if you guys remember and are a student of history, 1971 is when Richard Nixon took the United States off the gold standard, which was back when, you know, we had Fort Knox, right? We actually had this vault full of gold. And so when we got taken off the gold standard, um, we actually had something tangible or physical that we could back those US dollars to. Meaning, oh, this, if I can redeem it, right? And you can literally, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It's called a silver certificate. It's a US dollar, $1, but right at the top, it's written uh, one silver certificate equally redeemable at the US Federal Reserve uh, for equal amount of silver. So you can literally take this paper US dollar and go and trade it in for an actual physical um, coin, which are, you know, amount of silver. So again, we're, we're so far beyond that. I found a chart last night and when, again, I'll, I'll definitely get the link below, but I want you guys to take a look at this. And I don't know if, as I'm recording this driving, and again, this is your daily dose of crypto news, right? To and from work. This chart, which you guys, I'll get to you, um, has the 10 world's most valuable assets. All right, for those of you that aren't looking at the screen, I've got a list here of the top 10 assets, um, according to the market cap. And so number one is gold, two, Bitcoin, three. We've got Apple, four, NVIDIA. So I won't go through all of them. You guys can see it, those of you can see. So anyway, the point I wanted to make, these top 10 assets, uh, when I discovered this chart, Bitcoin was, believe it or not, actually below the top 10. Um, and so since then, it kind of, it actually passed up two. And then you'll see there's silver and Bitcoin. Their, their market caps, um, they're so close, 1.4, and then a trillion and then 1.2 trillion for Bitcoin. So these two, Bitcoin actually had surpassed silver um, here just a few days ago and because of the market cap, it dropped. So that's where we're at now. Now, it's interesting. So if, when you look at this, this list, what's it mostly comprised of? And I'll give you a second here, looking at this list here. All right, it, it's technology, right? So it's innovative technology companies that ultimately change the world, right? And so, you know, what's left on this list, aside from those innovative technologies, we got basically two precious metals, right? So stores of value. We've got gold up here at number one, silver at number eight. And then we've got Saudi Aramco. What is that? That's a store of energy, right? Basically an oil companies or, you know, Saudi Arabia and, and oil. And then honestly, the other five, I see the technology we got, um, Microsoft, Apple, obviously NVIDIA, Google, Facebook, like it's just, it's kind of no brainers. Now guys, when looking at this list, this, it, it, it completely hit me. I just, I got so excited. I wanted to share this with you guys. Looking at this, um, you know, is there anything that clicks for you? Like it did for me. And so again, if you want, feel free, pause the video, but I'm going to continue on. But you guys, Bitcoin, so we talked about the store of value, right? We've got precious metals, we got store of energy. We've also got base networks, which is what all these technology platforms are, right? So base networks. All right, drum roll, here it is. Bitcoin, honestly, if you guys think about it, it's the exception to all of these and it's all of these things combined. Bitcoin is a store of value. Bitcoin's also a store of energy, right? Monetary energy. Uh, Michael Saylor constantly talks about this. And it's a technology-based network. 
It's the world's top 10 assets, you guys, wrapped up into one. And it's still only down here, that, you know, number eight or nine. It's flip-flopping. But can you imagine what this thing is going to do as it continues to move up the list here in assets? And in, in, I'm sorry, in market cap, as it constantly swallows silver and gold and more people are putting it into their stock portfolios. Anthony Pompliano, another guy, brilliant mind, who is believing that this is going to be part of every single person's portfolio here coming up in the future. So again, you guys, I just, it's so exciting to see these things start coming together and realize like the top 10 assets in the world, Bitcoin's already on that list. And it, it was at, it was at number eight, um, back when we were like 70, I think 72,000 pretty exciting times. You guys keep stacking. And again, if you guys like this type of content, leave a like, comment, subscribe below. Chat soon.